what's up guys this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create a registration and login form in android using sqlite database now let's do it first of all open the android studio and then go to file click on new and then go to new project and then provide the name of the project and then click next and then select phone and tablet and then click next and then select the empty activity click next and then click finish now after clicking finish it will take some time to build a gradle and we have to wait until the gradle is built The gradual building process is completed now in order to create a login form or registration form using android using sqlite database first of all we need a class which manages our sqlite database and table so first of all click right click over this main activity click new and then go to java class and then give the name of the class database helper and then click ok now our class will extend with sqlite open helper this class will implement two primary override method now extend this class with sqlite open helper extend sqlite open helper now click over here and press alt and enter and implement method click ok and again the red underline is shown in the class so again click alt and enter and then create constructor for support and click ok now we need to create a schema a schema define how database is organized and it is just like a sql statement we use to create database and table now create a schema over here public static oh sorry first of all let me change the color 
or theme of this Android Studio because the black color is not good for watching video you need to you go to appearance and then change public static final spring database underscore name is equal to register dot db public static final spring data this good table oh sorry table and this good name register public static final and then create a column column this one is equal to id and just simply copy this and paste here go column 2 I'll go to column 3, I'll go to column five, 4, I'll go to 5, and we will need one more. I'll go to column 6. Now, here go to first name. I'll go to last name. I'll go to password here goes email and the final one is phone now modify the code structure we don't need all this simply press this and here goes the version one and here goes database name and then her goes not now in this method We are going to create a table that is db.efcsql create table table on this program ID is integer and primary key auto authenticate and then the first name should be text last name should also text uh, 
password should also text and then email should also be text field also should be text field there you go now in the grid method db dot yes is 12 drop table if exist This means drop all whatever if exist. And we need to recreate the table. That means we need to recall the onCreate method over here. Now after completing this class code, we move forward to design our registration form. Now go to layout and then main activity, activity underscore main directional file. Delete this and drag and drop text over here for first name And in the hint field, option I'm go here and change the layout on this provides to match parent. And similarly for last name, drag and drop the another plain text and erase the text, give the hints and then and change the layout and display words to match parent and then go to our password drag and drop password field and then enter the hints password and drag and drop another field email and change the layout and display words to match parent and give the hint email drag another field on the layout and this provides to match parent and give the hint one now drag and drop one button and drop over here and then here goes registration now change the id of the button to btn reg and txt last name similar for other field txt l name here goes txt hash here goes txt email and then here goes txt phone now we complete our design 
now go back to main activity and over here declare the button and inside the button and text field and also call this class we just create first of all call the class of the system active light open helper open helper active light database db and button underscore btn red and then edit text let me zoom this course TX, txt fnm underscore txt fnm underscore txt hash txt email txt phone there you go now inside this one create method it like button and edit text is equal to button find by id r dot id dot btn red similar for all this text field edit text find the id r dot id dot txt f name Now see you guys in the next uh, part of this video.